And Tiresias is still alive. Guess you two are bonding, huh? The name's Galt, remember? Galt Renault. And yes, we're getting along famously. Is that so? So far, so good. He is an infamous scoundrel. I've turned over a new leaf. Unless an infamous scoundrel is what you need, of course. I've had enough of scorching heat and sand. What do you say we check out our next target? So, this is home. A little spare, don't you think? It serves well enough. You're practical, I get it. I'm not suggesting plating the hull in gold. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. Keep the place clean and we'll talk. I guess I can live with it for now. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change. Oh, it's good to relax. This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Everyone has limits. Are you kidding? I'm in my prime. I'm talking about trying to unwind here. I mean, really unwind. It's unsettling. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble. Mostly. Didn't realize you were having this much trouble adjusting. Spend 30 years doing what you're doing and you'll know what I'm talking about. I knew you were a career scoundrel, but 30 years on the run? Pretty impressive. Things weren't so bad until people finally realized the same guy was responsible for most of their woes. And I've made some enemies over the years, believe me. Two and a half dozen hut families, the entire Carillion Exchange... And there was that whole blockade incident that ran the Mandalorians home with their tails between their legs. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. Eliminated Tiresias Loci. Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I scan it. Huh. What do you know? The body's bioscan matches. You just made a lot of crime bosses very happy. I've got a positive on the rival kill as well. Credit for Tiresias Loci goes to you. Stay hungry, Hunter. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. And what did your imagination come up with? A few words in the right ears and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias' remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Are all of your schemes this blunt? It's not the most elaborate con, but you're new at this. Turns out there are a lot of folks out there who've still got a bone to pick with the late Tiresias Loci. A little friendly competition couldn't hurt our final take. I'm thinking an auction would do the trick. In my experience, auctions in the underworld don't mix well. Oh, sure. Get enough bad seeds in one place and something bad's bound to crop up. A little weeding out takes care of that. Give me some time off the ship, and I can handle the whole thing by proxy. The only finger you'll have to lift will be the one accepting your credit transfer. Take as long as you need. I'll be back before you know it. I've always heard how beautiful Alteron's supposed to be. Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. Don't sweat it. When we win the Great Hunt, I'm taking you on vacation. <sighs> we could use some R&R, &R, that is for sure. Time to find out who's standing between us and a week on the beach. Welcome to Alderaan, Hunter. Former tourist capital of the Core Worlds. Your target here is a nobleman nicknamed the Dura Steel Duke on account of his knack for staying alive. 
Over a thousand assassins have come and gone trying to put the Duke to bed. But he ain't met you yet, right? He was last seen with House Gerard. They're guests of House Thule, so that's a good place to start looking. Good luck. Figures should gloss over the details. Lucky for you, I'm on the job. Yeah, lucky for me. Oh, come on. I promise I'll use tiny words. In a nutshell, when the Queen of Alderaan died a few years ago, the head of the military declared himself king. That didn't go over so well. Now the three largest houses are fighting over the crown. Who would have seen that coming? A lot of people didn't. Boris Olgo was a Republic war hero. House Organa and House Thule are Olgo's only real opposition, but they're at each other's throats too. Basically, Organa wants Alderaan back in the Republic, and Thule came back from exile with the help of the Empire. Hey, are you getting all this? Our mark is with Gerard at House Thule, and the rest are target practice. Anything else? Well, that pretty much sums it up. Come on. We better go pay a visit to House Gerard. Oh, and one last thing. The nobles of Alderaan are different. They think they're untouchable, and they won't be impressed. No matter how big a gun you wave around. I've just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh! Abominable. My, my, what have we here? Nice place you got here. So what's on tap? Rafid, have the help fetch something palatable to our new guest. Some trough water, perhaps? That's kind, Father. But are we certain they can spare a bucket? Ah, uh, true. As you can see, your arrival is imposing upon our hospitality. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. I guess I should have worn my strapless blast vest. Now that would have been a sight to see. Do shut up, Rafid, or I'll be speaking to your father. Must you two squabble in front of our guests? You're causing more of a stir than our visitor here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. Glad to meet somebody civil. Forgive my relations. They have a low threshold for impropriety. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here, but this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. I'm a bounty hunter. I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. You're expecting a double cross? It's possible. Either way, I'm certainly not going out into that war zone, and none of my relatives can be trusted. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come, 
I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zakar Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. Uh-huh, I accept. You know the rest. So we done? What? No, you must... Oh, never mind. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions. So Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior.